Welcome to NYNJPA Weather, your weather source for the northern Mid-Atlantic. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. Well, as we have seen over the past several days this week, an area of low pressure remains to the south of the, of the northern Mid-Atlantic. Basically, a stationary front that has been sitting over Virginia and North Carolina continues to produce waves of low pressure, and these waves of low pressure are, of course, producing scattered showers. Meanwhile, we have another strong cold front that is diving through the uh, southeastern Canada and uh, Ontario, moving towards the Great Lakes, and that cold front will also impact the northern Mid-Atlantic over the next few days. Let's take a look at the radar picture. So as we can see on the radar this morning, we have a, an area of showers and some moderate rain that is developing over Virginia and moving into Maryland and central and southern Delaware. As the low pressure system that is over southeastern uh, Virginia moves towards the New Jersey coastal waters, these showers will start to move north into Cape May County, eventually pushing towards the Philadelphia metropolitan area and clipping New York City. Now, the majority of these showers will, one, remain light, two, remain south of much of the northern Atlantic. Basically, the areas of most impact will be southern New Jersey and the suburbs just south of Philadelphia. For New York City, you still could see a straight shower this afternoon, but I think for your Yankee game this afternoon, majority dry conditions uh, could see an isolated shower, but I don't think it's going to impact the game. If you're out in Long Island, especially in the eastern part of Long Island, watch out for a few scattered showers, especially this evening. But really, again, it's not going to be a major impact. However, just keep this pattern in mind as we move forward towards the winter. It's going to set up some interesting scenarios, that is for sure. Just want to take a step back and take a look at the water vapor satellite picture again. And you can see the various disturbances that are approaching the northern Atlantic. We have one that's over the southern Mid-Atlantic that will eventually move northeast just off the coast of New Jersey again producing some scattered showers this evening we have another strong disturbance that is over Ontario Western Ontario just northwest of the Great Lakes and that disturbance will move through later on on uh, Friday to produce another uh, round of showers and also a slightly cooler air mass and then there's even more disturbances out to the west with an upper level low that's sitting off California and of course disturbances coming over the ridge over the west into the plains. So a very active fast moving pattern is definitely in place. A pattern very very similar to an east based La Nina. I'll be talking about that more this afternoon. So again our area low pressure will uh, move to the southeast of the New Jersey coast few scattered showers this evening. In between these area low pressures, skies are going to clear because generally high pressure is in control over much of the eastern United States, as long as you're north of this cold front and stationary front over the southeast. So when the showers exit, skies will clear rapidly. Uh, in the mornings, you could see some fog. We saw some fog this morning. Uh, it could be locally dense in some valleys, but for the most part, it'll just be a, a fog, you know, basically from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. that lifts rapidly, reducing visibility at times down to about anywhere from 4 to 1 standard mile, depending on the density of the fog. Then our, another cold front moves through on Friday, scattered showers, high pressures in control from Friday night through Saturday, and then Sunday, yet another cold front again with scattered showers. The good news, later on this next week, a significant warm-up can be expected until another drastic cool down by the time Halloween rolls around. So one little announcement I need to make, uh, the winter forecast is going to be out by this afternoon or early evening. I'll send out an email when I'm actually ready to issue it. Uh, it's going to cover everything about the winter, not only for the northern Atlantic, but for the country as a whole. There'll be a public and also a premium discussion, uh, weather forecast discussion. The premium discussion is going to be very lengthy and it's going to show exactly what I'm looking at. So if you're looking to get an education on exactly you know, what is happening in the atmosphere, I would strongly uh, suggest to invest in that uh, discussion. And if you're a premium member already, you get it for free. So there we go. This is NYNJPA Weather. Thank you for trusting the NYNJPA Weather for all your weather northern mid-Atlantic needs. I'm meteorologist Stephen DiMartino. Have an excellent day.